well, so he's definitely going to be ready for the ground push, I feel. Uh, he probably has seen it indeed. There's the single Zergling out in front about to get squashed by these, these Zealots, and he just he, he saw like 10 to 12 Zealots just charging out now. Uh, we've, got, we've got Corsairs over at Hang Space getting shot down. And uh, you just and, uh, missed, the, I'm not sure if you caught it on screen, but the shuttle just got absolutely annihilated by those Hydralisks, taken down almost oh immediately. Alright, well I'll pass it off because I obviously wasn't paying enough attention, but uh, yeah, tell, tell us a little bit more about that because I missed it. So I think what uh, essentially Sabre was hoping to do there is bring that Corsair around the back and force the majority of the troops uh, into the back of the base and then push up with the Zealots out in the field in the meantime, have a distractionary attack. He does have, it looks like, a probe in that upper left-hand corner, so he was going to try to push up and attack while Hain was distracted and fortunately had that shuttle taken out almost immediately and now he's got this big counterattack pushing in, so he's going to have to stay at home base. That's a pretty significant amount of troops on his front door. Looks like level 1 carapace have been upgraded. And in the meantime, he had uh, uh, what we've been missing, kind of, I don't know if you've been catching this, over that Stargate, there's just been camps scourged there for quite some time, keeping the Corsair count uh, very, very low. So it, we've got supply, 146 supply, but most of it in Zealots, and it's starting to push out now, and those uh, does not look like they're speed upgraded, and there's only a single Archon alongside, maybe a Templar, and it looks like those Corsair are getting caught out in the open. A lot of them are going to get taken out there. Uh, but in that, but that did set up a position for Saber. He's going to be able to surround those Hydralisks, and probably, and there's the speed upgrade right there, he's going to be able to take a lot of these Hydralisks out. Yeah, I'm really liking his upgrades. He's, he's got those the plus one to weapons and armor very early. Uh, he's actually researching plus two right now. As you can see down at the six o'clock, Saber's actually still got a single pylon barely alive there. Unfortunately, he hasn't got a drone there to set up a, sorry, a probe there to set up a, a nexus. But um, Haim is really being forced to run around, but I, I think that that's not really a, a too bad a position because he's able to spend that time getting heaps of reinforcements. As you can see, it is mineral only. He's got tons of troops. There's a big battle happening right now, and uh, Saber's forces are just getting surrounded right now. He's got plenty of reinforcements coming in. He's even got lurkers, so this is going to be the end of uh, Saber's forces out in the field, uh, despite his, his, oh, maybe not, maybe, uh, well, yeah, once, once the lurkers arrived there, that was it for the, um, for the zealots. As you can see, yeah. Saber doesn't have any observers nearby, but he's, he's backtracking now, he's heading up to the top left, maybe he can actually do some damage to this expansion. If he can, this will definitely get him uh, into an advantageous position. The zealots are just riding over the sunken colonies like they were nothing, and he's probably going to be getting a lot of uh, drone kills right now. Instead, he's ignoring the drones, he's going straight for the hatchery, this is probably a good idea. The lurkers are actually uh, burrowing nearby, they're going to get a lot of kills from the zealots. This is going to be close. Hatchery is coming down, it's um, beneath oh. 200, down to 100. Uh, we're just going below 100. He's running out of zealots. Only two zealots left. Coming right down to it. 73. Uh, it oh my goodness. This the layer upgrading just to safeguard it. Wow, 73 health left on that hatchery right there, and yeah, upgrading layer to get some additional hit points. In the meantime, looks like Saber's going to end up losing his 9 o'clock position, uh, just to a couple zerglings there. Uh, Saber, having forced be basically to create uh, Reavers in that shuttle, and he was going up the attack, that, that shuttle really, really hurt. I think this would have been a lot more successful, because he was kind of uh, passing over observers and passing over uh, Templar and Psystorm in order to kind of push that attack forward, and as a result, getting caught by the lurkers out in the field. He still, I think that counterattack was brilliant because that kept the pressure in those lurkers off his front door, kept him from getting contained uh, but in the meantime, yeah, he's, he's being forced to get observers rather than the additional tech unit. It still has a huge supply lead, 150 uh, versus 120 on the opposite end. It looks like he's also been able to kill a bunch of overlords out in the field. Those three Corsairs, just hero Corsairs, uh, still wandering around that right-hand corner getting a lot of that troop information. But right now, Haim essentially controls the map. He's got uh, Wow, he's got hatcheries absolutely everywhere. He's got additional gas that's been capped. He's got that gas in the upper left-hand corner. He's going to be approaching 5 gas, and 5 gas, again, is very, very hard to deal with. And right now, that 9 o'clock expansion, the third gas from Saber is down. I've got to say, if Hank can hold off, he's going to be in a very good position, and it looks like he is going to be able to do so, taking out those Corsairs finally in the middle of the map. Uh, Saber's got to go on the offensive somehow, and I'm not sure how he's going to be able to do that and protect that 9 o'clock position. Storm drop at the top left, just as you said that, going the offensive. You can see the High Temple, I just actually wiped out a bunch of drones, drones at the top left. We've even got a couple of zealots in there. Uh, bear in mind also that Haim is taking up to Hive. He just started that. He's about a third of the way through to the, to the Hive. He's got, um, he's got Scourges chasing a shuttle just over the mineral only here next to uh, Saber Space. That shuttle really needs to pick up a, uh, a, a probe, I feel, and take it down to the 6 o'clock, so he's got that as well. But looks like Saber has a huge number of zealots on the field. He's upgraded to plus two weapons and plus two armor, so those zealots are going to be able to steamroll over quite a lot of Zerg troops. Uh, so Haim probably, probably wanting to be getting um, stuff like Ultralists and, and higher upgrades at this point. 
Uh, I feel like Saber needs to get some observers out into the field to be able to spot these Locusts, because then his huge number of Zealots should be able to start rolling over the Locusts, even though, you know, naturally Locusts are a counter, but when you've got that many Zealots, it's, it's really hard to make a matter. And here come the observers now, just getting in position. He's, he's trying to line them up, and uh, looks like we've got a lot of Zerglings in there. Uh, Saber's got a huge number of forces. If you can get a High Templar in to get a decent Storm off, here comes the attack. Zealots streaming in. We've got a big battle here, a very big melee battle. The Lurkers are going to town on these Zealots, getting a lot of kills. But again, the, the observers in behind are able to spot the Lurkers. It looks like uh, uh, Hamer's about to lose this expansion. We've got tons of Zerglings streaming in from behind. Storm going off over all of the Zerglings. Really nice move there by Saber. Well, this is turned out to be really exciting. He's probably actually going to be able to take out this lair now. And uh, by the looks of things, this could be the end of it for um, Haim's expansion. Uh, and possibly even the other expansion at the top left. But uh, we have got some reinforcements coming in. It's going to be close, though. Do you reckon he can take it? Yeah, I, oh, wow. Uh, honestly, with that gas denial, specifically that gas denial, is what's really going to hurt him. He's got a lot of stored up gas right now, uh, but uh, and actually hurting for minerals at the moment. Putting down a hatch while this attack is still going on, so he's confident he can take it out. Did he, it was able to get that, uh, and now Morphing Lurkers trying to block those zealots in. He's going to have to cancel that hatchery at the mineral only with all those Lurkers and those Dragoons. Uh, just a little bit of an upgrade advantage. Level 2 weapons, level 2 shield versus just level 2 carapaz versus and uh, level 1 weapons. I think that really was influential there. Also, no Overlord for Haim there, so he was not able to take out that observer and uh, allow his lurkers to do the work, and not a lurkers, a lot of lurkers down in general. Um, so, and then, uh, as you can see at the nine o'clock position, if you get a quick look at it, a bunch of cans just to protect that from any sort of counterattack. Very nice moves from Saber, and Saber I think is doing the damage that he needs to do. Very, uh, very dragoon heavy right here, and he doesn't have an observer now to deal with those lurkers. Uh, just those three lurkers on the edge, and uh, yeah, this is going to be a problem for him. I don't think he's going to be able to hold this. Uh, he's not uh, hold up this attack, I should say, not hold this expansion. He's not going to be able to press this with just Dragoons and without an Observer alongside. So Haim able to hold this. He did manage, uh, he lost that Mineral Only expansion, but he is going to be able to recap that gas and now pushing up for that counterattack, but running into a lot of reinforcements across the middle of the map. So uh, really what he needs is he needs Dark Swarm or some Ultralisks, and it does look like he's uh, getting a Defiler mount. He's got the three Evolution Chambers back in his base, but uh, and all sorts of hatcheries, but really just getting outproduced. 151, uh, this, this is the entire game Saber's been ahead, significantly ahead in supply, and I think that's really been carrying him through this game. Yeah, one thing we noticed here that Haim was really down on minerals. He still is kind of down on minerals, and uh, although Zoglings aren't a very expensive unit, when you're pumping Zoglings out of seven or eight hatcheries, like constantly, that can actually eat into your minerals quite a fair bit. And if you can get these defilers out, then those Zoglings are going to totally ride over those Dragoons like, like never before. And even without defilers, you can ride over Dragoons with, with Zoglings. But uh, Sabre, as you said, he's got 159 supply now by my reading. And uh, with this large number of uh, Zealot and Dragoon combination, he should be able to do it. Looks like Sabre's actually being really bold here and expanding down the bottom right while this is happening. So he feels like he's distracted Haim enough to actually make that gamble. But as soon as, as, as Haim notices this, oh, he's going to be sending Zerglings down there and totally do wipe them out. But oh my god, look at that big pool of blood. You're absolutely right, that, that Scythe Storm totally carved up that, that large lot of Zerglings. I think Haim may have spotted this though. He's actually hitting the Zerglings out to the middle. Wow. 21 kills. 21 kills. 21 uh, kills on that one side storm alone. Yeah. And I, Brilliant stuff. I think with this... Go on, go on. I think with this, Saber's taking the game. Sorry to interrupt there, but uh, taking out this expansion, basically everything in the upper left, even though the 9 o'clock has been taken by Haim, I think Saber's just established... Uh, I think he's bought himself time to establish in that bottom right hand corner. Haim does not have any sort of attack force, and even if he did... Well, so you think reinforcements might be able to... Looks like he might lose, actually, that bottom right with just the amount of cannons he has there, but I'm not sure it's still that Haim versus the four base actually... Uh, Saber might be running low on economy because if this base gets taken out, so I immediately trying to contradict myself. Reinforcements heading up there, but that uh, nexus is gonna have to be canceled. If you check out his main, his natural completely mined out. He's only got the mineral only running, uh, and that nine o'clock. Haim uh, still running s out of his secondary, but it's very thin. His it's mineral only is also very thin, and uh, it looks like yeah, he's also out of gas. So I think that a lot of the battle is gonna come down to that nine o'clock location, whether Haim can hold that or not. And with the forces that he's sending out, it looks like he might be able to. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you can see Haim is trying to upgrade Ultralisk armor right now, but he doesn't have the gas to build the Ultralisks, and he's not going to have the... Well, actually, sorry, eat your hat, Ball. Uh, I've actually seen four Ultralisks just pop out of nowhere. So that's obviously where the gas went. Uh, my bad. Uh, he's got plenty of uh, minerals by the looks. He's producing a lot of Zoglings. Just just everybody take a look at this, this natural expansion here. 
uh, at the top right, where all of the forces are situated, we've got three defilers, we've got five ultralists, we've got a, a bunch of lurkers as well, we've got heaps of zerglings out in the field. If Haim wants to go and take another expansion, he potentially could if he, if he runs over Saber's forces. Uh, Saber, in fact, just walling off the entire uh, top left with photon cannons right now. He's going to need a lot of photon, photon cannons in combination with his army to stop this. Uh, I, I do agree with you that he's winning. I'm not sure if he's, he's got the game, so to speak, but uh, I definitely he's, he's the favorite to win at this point. Uh, he's got this, he's wow. got this, um, this 3 o'clock position, and it looks like he's actually dropped off a hatchery at the 12 o'clock as well. Uh, there is a, a Protoss shuttle with a, uh, with a High Templar uh, flying over, so Saber spotted that. Saber is in the know about his expansion attempts, but again... Uh, it's just going to come down to this big fight, which is probably going to occur between all the ultralists and this large force out in the field. But thanks to uh, Dark...